hi friends welcome to gt coding in this video we are going to learn how to create a parallax effect for our web page so this is the web page that we are going to design so when we scroll down we can see that we have this parallax effect where uh, this element over here is moving faster than the image and we also have a different type of parallax where the image stays where it is and uh, the division moves above it so these are the two different parallaxes that we are going to design and we are going to use html css and javascript so let's get started so in my project i have these three files index.html main.js and style.css and i also have two different images in my img folder so let's design the html markup we will use emmet to create the basic html structure so here we will just give it a title called parallax and uh, we will also link our css so link and the name of our css file and in our body tag we will uh, attach our script file so it is called main.js so if you see over here we can see that we have one two three and four different divisions so let's design those divisions so i will just type div4 and it will give me four different divisions and here i will create an h2 and i will just type div1 and i will just copy this so we have our divisions set up now we will just give a basic styling for our website so first of all we will open this with our live server so these are the four divisions we'll go to our style.css and here first of all we will have a border of zero and padding of zero and margin of zero for all the elements and here we will style all the divisions so it will have a display of flex and align items to the center justify content to the center font weight to bold font family to big john and a width of 100 percent and a height of 100 viewport height so these are all our divisions and now we will style the h2 so i'll type h2 and here i will give it a font size of 60 pixels and a background color of light gray a padding of 8 pixels 24 pixels and border radius of 16 pixels now we will style each of the divisions separately so we will type div nth child 1 so this will select the first division and we will give it a background image and give it a url of div1.jpg so this is our image so we will give it a background size of cover so that it will uh, adjust the size according to the window and now we will style the second division so div nth child 2 and here we just have to give a background color of maroon so this is the second division now for the third division we will give a height of 400 pixels and we will give a background image and we will give it a url of img div3.jpg and the background size should be set to cover and at last the fourth division so nth child 4 and we will give it a background color of aquamarine 
so if we take a look at this we can see that we have all the divisions styled properly so first of all i will show you this basic parallax that we had over here so this parallax effect where the divisions moving over it but the image stays where it is so that is really simple so we can do it in our css itself so here for our division 3 we just have to add one line of code that is background attachment and set it to fixed so this will give us that parallax effect so if we'll scroll down we can see that we have this parallax effect over here where the divisions move over it and the image stays where it is now we will give the parallax effect that we had for our division one so that the image moves a bit slower than all the other elements so for that we have to go to our javascript file so we have already added our javascript file over here so in our main js we'll create a constant and name it parallax and we have to access uh, the first division so what we'll do is create an id over here for the division so id parallax and here we will say document dot get element by id and say parallax over here so this will fetch this division over here and now we have to add an event listener for our window object so i will type window dot add event listener and we will search for the scroll event and we'll just create an anonymous function and create a variable called offset and we will set that equal to window dot page y offset so this is going to be the value of how much the user has scrolled from the top i will just open my console so we'll just print the offset value in our console so here we will type console.log and say offset and here we will type offset so now if we'll save this and open our console and if we and if you scroll down we can see we get the value of offset so this is how much the user has scrolled down so if you scroll down more we can see we get this value over here and if we scroll all the way to the top we get the value of offset to be zero so this is what we are going to use in our parallax effect so let me just show you one more value that we need to have so i'll just console.log and this is the offset multiplied by 0 0.7 so we will type offset times 0 0.7 and now if we scroll down we can see that we have two different offset values so this is the offset and this is offset multiplied by 0 0.7 so this is the value that we get so we are going to use this value over here to move our image so if the page is scrolled to 36 pixels our image will be scrolled to 25.2 pixels so this is how our code is going to work so let me just delete both of these consoles and here we will type parallax dot style dot background position y and we will set that equal to offset times 0 0.7 and here we also need to add pixels so this is our code for the parallax and now if we go over here and scroll down we can see that we have this parallax effect over here so this is how this parallax works so if we change this value to say 1 and now we can see that the image stays there so it is just like the fixed property that we had used over here and if we change these values to maybe greater than 1 so if we change it to 1.5 now if we scroll we can see that the image moves in the opposite direction so this is basically how this parallax effect works so let me just change it back to 
0 0.7 which looks fine to me so this is basically it for this tutorial i hope that you understood how to create a parallax effect using simple javascript without using all the jquery and all those libraries you can use this simple six lines of javascript code and create this parallax effect and you can change these values and get different kinds of effects so if i change it to 0 0.2 pixels the image will scroll a bit faster so we can see that over here so if you have any doubts you can ask them in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video please click on the like button and subscribe to get the latest updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day